guys uh, in this tutorial uh, we will discuss uh, how to create a ninja form and configure so in that case uh, we have to install ninja form plugin first so go to the plugin dashboard so here is the plugin dashboard and click on add new button and uh, <coughs> just install the ninja form plugin first okay so it's loading ninja form now this one uh, this one is a ninja form plugin for building a form so install now now just activate the plugin so once we activate the plugin you can see the option in the left side uh, left side bar this one a ninja form so go to dashboard so this is the dashboard for ninja form plugin so, and this is actually a default contact form plugin once we install the ninja form so we can check this one click on here so here we can add uh, more fields like uh, um, yeah phone number etc so here is now i name email and mess message as as of now and i would like to, if you would like to add a more field like this this is the plus button just click on here and we can add more field um, through this button actually so suppose we would like to add a phone number so here you can see this is a phone number just try and draw. you can add required field as well and publish so we just created the form now we have to uh, insert this form okay um, now the form has been created and we have to insert the sort code uh, to the contact us page okay so let's go to the admin again let's go to admin and click on ninja form dashboard again so this is the ninja form dashboard and just copy this short code uh, and go to the page called contact us page and can also create another page so here we already created contact us page so I'm just going to uh, edit this option so, um, uh, this is the backend for contact us page just paste on the sort code here and update the page so now it's uh, updated just to the page so here you can see the contact us page along with the form that was created right now so it's loading now you can see the form has been appeared in the contact us page name email phone number and message field now we have to configure the form so that admin and user can get the mail together so once user submit the form admin has to be notified as well as the user so how we can configure this so again go to this uh, click on here the form contact me just click on here and you can see the option called email and accept so just go to here you can see the two uh, and this one is a default actually so email configuration and email notification so this is a email configuration we can add uh, this is for the admin 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 notification like this and we need to change this email to admin email like this whatever you want You can add multiple email here like this add comma and add more email id so that um, admin can 
you get notification one user submit the form that's it and done and this uh, email notification this should be for user so user notification this needs to be changed just click on this and we need to choose an email that is for user okay so you want user submit the form user can also get the email and we can change the subject line like this contact form notification you can also tie, add the project website name whatever okay so contact form notification and we need to change this as well like this i uh, and we just click on this icon and add name then comma thanks for contacting with us we will get in touch with you shortly can add also the company name here you can add also the phone number the contact number as well so this is the way we can uh, configure the form now once it's done uh, and reply to we can add also the admin email if you would like to reply to the admin like this and now we are done just publish so here you can see we have configured for both admin and user so once user submit the form once user submit the form form admin and user both can notify it so this is the way you can easily configure the form so for all the WordPress developers who are using a ninja form first create the form and configure the form like this way thank you